Hey guys, Scrappy K. Sue. I wanted to come and show you my project that I finally finished. This I did for my son and his wife. They just had a new baby. Of course, I'm a new grandma. And I did this little project for it. It's a shadow box project. Um, I, yeah, and let's see. I'm sorry about that. I was thinking about something. Um, this little um, template thing, it came from Want to Scrap. They have a bunch of little templates and they're really cute. And this one, I have another one like this uh, called Baby Bump. And um, it's got Baby Bump in the middle and the little pregnant woman and, and picture things. But this one I used for the first photo because of the um, sonogram. And I got this inspiration um, online. Um, I forget the name of the person who had. They did the same, had the same um, layout with the um, the template and everything. And I did most of it kind of like theirs. There was a there's a few things that um, I did a little bit different, but it's it's basically kind of like theirs. But um, these uh the paper in the background actually it came from this um me and my big ideas pad here it's got a lot of flocking in it and actually that is the the polka dots is flocking of course you can't touch it and feel it but that's okay the um i wanted something subtle um the, the uh, inspiration picture actually had polka dots on theirs too and the room that she's gonna the baby's room um this is sort of a green mint green light green i don't know um it's kind of the same color as the baby room but it's a little bit more toned down than this um it's hard to explain but um anyway that's that's the best background i could find and plus and this uh background for the under behind the first photo that came from this um, DCWB pack here um, called Baby Boy Stack. This is um, a new Baby Boy Stack. Um, I have the old Baby Boy Stack too, I think. And there wasn't anything in it that I, I wanted, but I used the, pa the brown paper out of, out of that one. And these little cutouts right here um you can see came from this stack that um beth just gave me called um this is called also baby boy um from dcwv and the sheet there's a sheet in here it's got you know stickers and cutouts and and everything but there's a sheet in here like this and I cut out some of the little words that were on here and I put them on here it says adorable and and miracle there and then that little arrow pointing to the baby in the boot in the in the tummy and then that sticker right there came from uh, I think it was a re recollection pack I'm not real sure and the name i think was a um, recollection alphabet thing i'm not real sure but uh the doily behind the picture it came from um i think it was some that karen had sent me um jb's um lady scrapper golly karen i can't ever get your your name right i'm so sorry i ought to know it by now but anyway y'all know her and um i think she get those from juliet um now i can't even think of julie's name y'all know her too anyway i'm so sorry it's i've been up a lot and <clears throat> since three o'clock actually this morning and i just wanted to got up starting to want to work on this project i just wanted to work on it i don't know <laughs> now i'm tired and i can't think and these swirls are just recollection swirls and this happy birthday um 
is a um, I believe it is an Elizabeth Crafts um, die and I cut out a, about four of them and stacked them so it would give a little bit of dimension to it and put it there and this little saying right here uh, I got off the internet um, I just thought it was the cutest thing there were some other sayings too but this one just just really got to me and it also um, I had started this project before the baby was born but obviously um, I'm not through with it until after so I went ahead and put the birth date on there um, and these little um, um, <laughs> actually I printed this on vellum and the reason is because I wanted to show the paper that I did this on I didn't want to cover up the paper so I did it on vellum and it turned out really good and so I went ahead and stamped some little things on top of the vellum and I cannot remember the name of the oh yeah the um this is from um, Just Right Stamps uh, it's one of their baby stamp sets and that's what that one came from and this one and then the little feet came from I think it was TPC or something like that and this down here um, it's, it was just black right here for you know the outline of this and I wanted something right here it was just a, a place right here that just needed something and on the inspiration one they had like a little flourish um, like one of these things kind of but it was a little bit different but I wanted something different so uh, I went ahead and made this little line of ribbon and pleated it and on top of the ribbon if you can see it's this little um, pearl um, pearl border thing that's a um, recollections in those little rolls I wanted a pearl thing because I've been doing pearl throughout and I, I didn't want to put any bling bling because I've been doing pearl so I put the pearl on top of it. I, th I thought about just putting the pearl you know here on top of the black but I don't know I just wanted something different um, so I pleated the ribbon on top of here and put the pearl on top of the ribbon so I thought that looked okay um, so it gave me something there because I really couldn't find a good pearl flourish I really don't have a lot of, of pearl stuff I got mostly bling bling stuff so I went ahead and just did the ribbon so I thought it turned out okay and then on the um, on the uh, doily I put this little charm that was the hardest thing to get that charm on there because on the doily I had to get it on one of the little sections here that would go through the jump ring and the jump ring I, I couldn't get it to stay open long enough for me to get that through there so it took me forever to get that on there but I finally did and because I just wanted it to to hang there and then you know when they're messing around with it and looking it'll you know move around but they're gonna this set to where they can put it on their on their wall but I have this sitting on a picture frame thing and it it actually sits okay there so if they want to get a sturdier of thing though they can set this on the you know on the dresser or, or whatever so I thought it turned out pretty pretty good um, I do want to like I said I don't know if I said this already but since this is a shadow box I I do want to put some stuff here in this little section I know I've got these stickers and it may get covered up but um, maybe some some teeny baby booties or something since it's a shadow box that actually can come you know out um i know there's some stuff that's 3d a little bit um and i really didn't need this deep of a shadow box but i kind of wanted to put something else so but i think it turned out okay and i, I think she'll like it um and i'm also working now on the next thing i'm doing is his name and these letters here um 
These are chipboard letters here. And I've got everything I need to do the theme of the room, which is the, it's, it's called Woodland. I think it's called Woodland. Um, I don't even know who, who makes the set. It's, you know, the set for the baby crib and um, the comforter and everything goes with it. It's got a little deer, but there's no eyes. It's just an outline. It's got a little rabbit in there, I think. It's, it's a deer and a baby deer. It's got some grass in it, and it's got like a, a bird in there, and I think there's a squirrel too. I don't know, but I've printed out some stuff to where I can um, paint those on here. So I've, I've got his name in all, in all the letters, you know. So I gotta paint those and start working on this project and, and get it done, cause I've been putting it off. And I also bought some, um, this is when Hobby Lobby had their, their chipboard stuff on sale. So I also, I bought three of these um, things that I'm going to um, paint and put their, the deer and stuff on too. So they'll, they'll have something that'll, you know, run the theme through the room, so. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this project before I, I, I kind of, I want to wrap it up and, as a gift and, and give it to her. But they're just as happy as they can be. And um, little Carter's doing good. And that's actually the person holding that little baby right there with the purple shirt. That's me. <laughs> and um, that's them in the hospital with the newborn. And I've got some newer pictures now. Um that I'll probably be doing some other projects with but you know they grow every day and every time you see them you got to take a thousand pictures so and I did that yesterday I actually got to go see see them because um, somebody at my husband's work gave him a present and it was a cute little outfit and um, so I got to hold the baby and feed him and he was a little a little wormy but um, he was having um, some problem getting situated but he's just the cutest little thing i miss him already <laughs> all right well enough rambling i'll let you guys go i uh, just wanted to show you my little project here so we'll talk to you guys later bye